This is Christopher James, student number H8046549. And this is my Contemporary Studies in Games module and my Implementing Audio in UDK tutorial. Now, I've provided a folder here called CSG Audio to Import. This contains a Peruvian ballad I've composed in B minor. It's um, mainly nylon guitar and a bit of pump flute, that kind of thing. Give a South American kind of feel. And a waterfall sound effect. And both of these are loopable. So we're going to open the UDK editor. And I'm running 64-bit DirectX 11 version. So we're going to open an existing map and I've provided the CSG audio tutorial. Close that. And it's actually the foliage map which I got with my university download. And it was pre built. I'm just using it for the purposes of audio. Uh, but it's uh, a ruined temple kind of South American tribe feel to it. Okay. Now, first of all, I'm going to direct us to the waterfall at this end. Now, this obviously requires some audio. So we're going to go to the content browser and we're going to go down to the bottom right and import a new asset and find the CSG audio to import folder we're going to import the waterfall sound effect it's quite quiet so I'm going to turn it up on the Q volume just by a little bit That should be fine. There we go. Take a little while for it to convert, but here's an example. Okay. As you can see, it's mainly white noise, so it's best off as a quieter layer underneath a more fluid sounding waterfall. Right, I'm going to drag this in here. It's as easy as that. And we're going to edit the properties by double clicking the sound node we just dropped. Okay. Here's attenuation, which is the properties of the sound when it's affected by distance. The good people at Unreal have provided a spatialize function. On the distance model I'm going to change it to natural sound. I'm going to lower the radius so the minimum radius of the full audio file is now 1000 and the maximum I'm going to bring down to 2000. Now this effectively means within 1000 units of distance you'll hear the full audio as loud as it should be and then between 1000 and 2000 it's going to eventually dissipate as the further you get out I'll just show you that so we're already highlighted now there'll be a blue radius here and this is the minimum distance so every in within this minimum it's going to be at its maximum audio and in between here and this maximum radius it's going to start to dissipate the further you get out until you won't be able to hear it at all outside okay in fact that's a little bit too large so 
I'm going to drop it down from 800 to 1000. We don't need a low pass filter on this and the standard volume should be fine. Okay. So I'm going to layer this up down in this browser window. I'm going to find one of the built-in waterfall sounds. Waterfall 4 is my favourite. So I'm going to use that. I'm going to turn it down a good deal. And I'm going to bring this, the radius down to just less than a fairly quiet one. I'm going to have it from 600 to 900. But I'm turning it down. That should be just fine. In fact, I'll turn down our other one just a little bit. Just to be sure. Okay, so now we've got two waterfall sounds at the same time. One slightly quieter than the other with a slight, slightly smaller radius, as you can see. I'm just going to have a test of this. That's slightly. That's gone slightly weird. So I'm just gonna change this one back to linear. Okay, should be fine now. Right, further down the water line, we're gonna need a flowing water sound for this middle area. So I'm going to use just a nice river one. I don't want it to be too loud, but I don't want it to not show up at all. So using the vertices, I'm just going to make sure it's on the water level. And I'm going to turn this one down. going to decrease its range by quite a lot. Okay. And for the area of water closest to the temple, I'm going to have a nice gentle stream-like sound to show the dissipation from the full waterfall through the flowing water down to the quiet, calm area. I'm just going to drag that there. As this is so quiet, it's fine to leave this as loud as it comes. Okay. Now, 
is this? Ambient sound, okay. That's fine. I'm going to add bird song, unless there's already some in here. That's excellent, okay. So in the exterior I'm gonna add using a sound cue this time, so I can edit it in the sound cue editor. I'm gonna add ambient bird song just around here. We'll do. Click. And uh, play the level from here. bring this down to 800 and a maximum of a thousand. I think it really needs to come down. That should do nicely. going to separate these two a little. But I'm definitely going to extend the range of the waterfall. Let's say 800 to 1000. Should be much better. Okay. Now I'm going to add some background music. I'm going to bring back the content browser. And I'm going to import into sounds music a Peruvian ballad. It's quite a large file. And I'm going to increase. the initial volume but quite a lot so it's not drowned out by the white noise of the waterfall in the river okay it's quite a large file but it'll be fine it'll take a long time to convert but it should be fine So it's 
a nice laid back guitar acoustic instrument piece with a lot of delay to give it like a mystical feel <coughs> okay so I'm just going to drag this here and I'm going to put it pretty central to the level I believe there's a post just here somewhere yes here so I'm going to just kind of attach it to the post really okay and then I'm going to check the properties that should be fine Okay. So now I'm just gonna play it from in a corner. This corner's just good enough for me. That can go. See? Music in the background. Without about oh. yeah the beauty of having a radius of attenuation with music specifically is that you can give each area of your level a theme so for instance let's say the mission was to climb this waterfall and beyond was a great plain of sandy dunes or something you could have this music fade out just over the top of the mountains using the distance of the radius and then you could bring in a completely different piece for a different feel or no music at all for a desolate feel also different kinds of music will affect the game differently if this was quite laid back because it's just a calm area so I wanted an ambient piece but had there been action I would have had more aggressive prominent music possibly with a higher tempo just to emphasize the fact that there is action on screen this has been the UDK audio tutorial by Christopher James thank you